Long time ago, people could buy cigarettes and smoke pretty much anywhere. Ads for cigarettes would be found anywhere. Today, we all know how bad smoking is for us, and it is restricted in almost all public places. Almost everyone knows that smoking causes several diseases, that it can shorten your life by many years and can cost a smoker thousands of dollars a year. So how come people are still lighting up? The answer, in a word, is addiction. But how long does it take to get addicted to smoking? Smoking is a habit hard to break because tobacco contains nicotine, which is highly addictive. Like other addictive drugs, the body and mind quickly become so used to the nicotine in cigarettes that a person needs to have it just to feel normal. People start smoking for several reasons. Some think it looks cool. Others start because their family members or friends smoke. Statistics show that 9 out of 10 tobacco users start before they're 18 years old. Most adults who started smoking in their teens never expected to become addicted. That's why people say it's just so much easier to not start smoking at all. Before knowing how many cigarettes are needed to get addicted, we need to know why addiction happens in the first place. Smoking a cigarette for the first time ever is often toxic enough to make some people vomit, Kids Health says. Other early effects include coughing and a burning sensation. Those who make smoking a habit get acquainted to the health dangers, the smelly side effects and the high cost. Despite a host of negatives, people still get addicted to smoking. Nicotine is the drug in cigarettes and all tobacco products that makes smoking so addictive. Nicotine is so powerful that the scant 1 to 2 milligrams a smoker inhales from each cigarette is enough to turn into an addiction, notes the National Institute on Drug Abuse. When someone inhales a cigarette, the nicotine shoots into the lungs, is quickly absorbed into the blood, and is hitting the brain about 8 seconds after the puff. Overall, a single cigarette has about 10 milligrams of the drug, but some of it goes up in smoke and is not inhaled. Once nicotine gets into the brain, it causes the brain neurons to create dopamine, a neurotransmitter that emits a feeling of pleasure. Dopamine naturally occurs when people are in situations that make them feel good, and nicotine kicks the dopamine creation into override. Smoking a cigarette, therefore, can give someone an immediate pleasurable reaction, and, as people want more of a good thing, the cycle of smoking begins. Nicotine hits the brain and causes pleasure quite quickly and its effects wear off just as rapidly. As with many drugs, the body builds up a tolerance to nicotine. Smokers start to need more nicotine to get the same effect. Nicotine tolerance builds up quickly over the course of the day during continuous smoking. However, long stretches without a cigarette, like while sleeping, bring the tolerance back down. Physical symptoms of nicotine withdrawal are most severe the first few days without a cigarette. People experiencing nicotine withdrawal are often irritable, have a hard time sleeping, and difficulty paying attention or thinking clearly. They also often end up with a huge appetite and intense craving for a cigarette. The physical symptoms of nicotine withdrawal eventually disappear after several weeks without nicotine. Cravings for a cigarette, however, can last a lifetime. Even when nicotine withdrawal subsides, some formal smokers have intense cravings for a cigarette. These cravings can come from seeing or smelling a cigarette, or are often triggered by some of the psychological aspects of smoking. These include hanging around people the smoker used to smoke with or places where he used to smoke. Some people continue to crave a cigarette at times when they used to always smoke one, like right after eating or while drinking alcohol. New research has shown that smokers can become addicted from their first cigarette. Scientists have discovered a part of the brain which can affect how long it takes before smoking becomes a compulsion rather than a habit. In some people, the chemicals in cigarettes initially trigger a strong reward signal from the area. The same part of the brain has previously been linked to the process by which people become addicted to alcohol and cocaine. The researchers who published their findings in the Journal of Neuroscience found that it could be manipulated to trigger either satisfying or unpleasant feelings. Stephen Lavulet from the University of Western Ontario, who led the study, said, During the early phase of tobacco exposure, many individuals find nicotine highly unpleasant and aversive, whereas others may become rapidly dependent on nicotine and find it highly rewarding. Scientists have long been puzzled over why some people appear to become hooked on smoking from their first cigarette, while it takes others considerably longer. The brain is affected by the nicotine in cigarettes, the chemical which is responsible for triggering the reward feeling. 
Earlier this year, scientists claimed that they have found a gene which influenced whether people would become addicted to smoking. Around half of all European people were said to carry the variant of the gene. The scientists who led the study warned that those with the gene were particularly vulnerable to developing a lifelong addiction to smoking if they began experimenting with cigarettes before the age of 17. Thank you for watching this video on our Key Science channel. If you have any question, please leave it out in the comments below. And make sure to watch more of our interesting videos covering a wide range of interesting topics. And subscribe for more Key Science videos.